Sorry about that. And my phone turned the wrong way. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Charmaine. We're going to sit here and wait for people to come on in. This is alive. This is alive. So I'm going to sit here and wait for some people to come in. Be right back. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. If you was in my last video, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm back for another video. Something totally different than what the first video was. We're back. Glad to see you. Welcome back. I'm waiting for people to come on in. We can start this. Today we are going to be doing the applique patch. And in a minute, I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, pretty eyes. Hey, fabulous. Hit that like button, she said. Hey, Diamond. Hey, Lachelle. Hey, Donna. Hey, Demps. Hey, D um, Diana. Hey, Carol. Hey, Yolanda. Y'all came back. Y'all ready for the patch. Like I said, this patch we're going to be doing. Let me go ahead and get to it because it's 28 minutes long. And I'm going to try to not... I hope I can hear y'all. hope y'all can hear me because this machine is kind of loud. So when, it's, when it starts running, it's going to be loud. So hopefully y'all can hear me. I've left my headphones at work so i can't put the headphones in so oh i'm just a mess today i wasn't prepared so sorry congrats charmaine on what she said congratulations hit the like button hey girl um hey irma hey marissa what's the eyes for what happened okay let's get 200 k's and a blue check mark Oh, I'm already almost almost at 200k. I am. <laughs> Let me see. Somebody said I'm almost at 200k subscribers. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm at 120. Oh, <laughs> fabulous! Be on it. She said, "Yeah, 121, girl." Okay, well, let's get that 2,000, 200k, 200k, 200k. I appreciate you. I'm almost there, y'all. So go ahead and like this page, like this video, like this channel, so I can reach my 200k. That'd be wonderful. She said, scroll up. I don't see nothing. Okay. Okay, then. Thank you, thank you. She said, everybody congratulate me on my 121K. Thank you, thank you. 121 subscribers. Do they get, do they, somebody. Okay. So let's get on to this video. Um, Today we are going to be doing him, right? But I already have him with the Black Lives Matter uh, fabric, which is this right here. I got this from somewhere. Don't even ask me where I got it from because I, I don't remember. And I think they sold out. But if y'all see something like this, let me know because I need some more. So this Black Lives Matter fabric, I love it. I love it. I sell a lot of these patches on my website. So check my website out. Charming Girl Boutique dot, um, on Etsy. Also got it in black also. So yes, I can do patches with these on there. I sell out a lot, okay? So Black Lives Matter. If y'all see this fabric anywhere, let me know because I need some more. Just heads up. Thank you very much. Inbox me on Facebook, Charmaine Galloway, and let me know. I really appreciate it. So today we're going to do him. But we're going to do the African fabric with him today because I don't have him in African fabric. I just have him with this. So I'm going to be using this fabric today. Okay? So who's ready to see that? Let's see the thumbs up if you're ready to see me do this patch with African fabric. While waiting on y'all thumbs up, we're going to show some more patches that I already showed y'all in my last video. But if you wasn't there, I'm going to show y'all really quick again what applique, fab what applique patches are. Applique patches is basically when you add fabric to your patch, okay? This is fabric, okay? But it's still stitching. It's still thread around here. This is all thread, but this black right here is all fabric, okay? And then this white part right here is stitching. So we're going to do that today with him. See, this right here is fabric, and then his face is stitched, brown stitch, black stitch for the hair. Ain't he beautiful? Ain't he gorgeous? Gorgeous, okay? Here's a girl. This is all applique fabric, the fabric I'm going to be using today. 
um, African fabric, but it's called an applique patch, okay? There's another one with the stillers on here. Thumbs up means thumbs up, on, go out the video and thumbs up the, the whole video, okay? The whole video, so I can get um, thumbs up to the video. So right now I got 33 thumbs up. Let me get more thumbs up from, you got to come out the video and thumbs up and come back to the video, I believe. Now this right here, this is our regular stitch, okay? Regular, just just regular plain old uh, uh, thread in the embroidery machine. There's no no fabric with this, okay? All this is, is all thread. Girl, you're doing awesome thing. I'm loving your patches. Thank you, Deborah. I sell a lot of patches. My my number one seller of patches. I do Kobe every day. It seems like people ordering Kobe. And I got a Kobe patch with him and his daughter on there too. Let me show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all that. But I got a picture. I got a Kobe patch. Oh, here it is right here. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. But yeah, Kobe sell out a lot. Oh my god, I sell so many Kobe patches every day. I sell out patches to him, and I don't have a patches to him by itself because I sold it. But yeah, Kobe is a big seller in my website. So check my website out again. It's Charming Gal Boutique on Etsy. Etsy, she beautiful. I love watching all of your stuff. Just amazing all around. Thank you. I appreciate it. The Adventures of Pete. What is that? Pete and um, Pete and Pixie. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining me and watching my videos. I appreciate you. Is, it, is she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? Uh, this this is all this is all three of y'all. Embroidery. Here's Kobe and his daughter. Okay. Basically, you can iron this on your clothes or you can sew it. Okay. So, I make them. And I can also make different designs. People always say, can you make this? Can you make that? Yeah, if I can find it, I can make it for you. So, let me know. Yes, I will start doing customized Crocs soon. Okay. Look at this one. Isn't she pretty too? Blessing. Bless vibes. I'm trying to read backwards. Show y'all some more, and we're going to go ahead and go get this patch together, because like I said, it's 28 minutes. This is, of course, Tupac. Look at this, just three of y'all. See how good they um, digitize? I don't digitize them, but I can get it digitized if you send me something you want. I can digitize, get them digitized, but I don't do the digitate. I don't digitize. Okay. My last two I'm going to show you. I do children's. And most of these children things, they go in their little shoes. They do their little Converse shoes, and they put the, um, the patches on their shoes or their clothes. You can make a jacket, for a jean jacket for somebody, a kid, and put all these patches on the back of their jackets. You can do so much with patches. Most people, they do patches on jean jackets. You can do it on a... Uh... Let me show you my jacket. Hold on, let me show you my jacket. Hold on, right here. Hold on, wait a minute. Here I come. On my varsity jacket, y'all. I should have been wearing this so I, can, so I can advertise. Let me put this on. Let me put this on so I can advertise my jacket. Hope ain't no spiders in this. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in my basement and it was laying down, laying around. So if, I, if it's a spider on there, I'm gonna cry. Okay, let me put it up so they can see it, okay? Uh, Versity, I need to wash it. That's why it's down here. I need to wash it because I've been washing this white. It's kind of dingy. But look at that, y'all. Ain't that cute? Ow. Oh. <laughs> There's one right here. This Melanin Queen right here. And right here. Here's another one. And then the back of it. I have a patch over here, queen, and then that embroidery, that's um, another Black Lives Matter right in the middle of it. That's applique. And I got this one right here, slay. So this is my jacket, y'all. That's the back, and then the front. This is she cute? And you can get these jackets. I got a jacket off of Amazon, okay? It's a varsity jacket. I do make these, too. So check out my website. I can make you a jacket. You, you can order, I got the jacket. Basically, I ordered for you and I put the patches on there, whatever you want. Hey, I'm gonna keep it, keep it on, keep it on. I forgot I had it over here. So, yep, I made that jacket. Now, basically, just um, iron them on, iron the patches on. Okay, y'all, y'all ready to see how to do this patch? Any questions while I'm waiting? Go ahead and like this, this video. So, the, the, I'm going to show y'all the embroidery machine in a minute. But first, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this embroidery um, hoop together, okay? So, with embroidery, we're going to do this patch with this fabric, okay? But first, when you do a patch, you got to have a certain kind of fabric. And the fabric you got to use, I use duck fabric. You can get this from online or you can get it from Amazon. You can get it from Hobby Lobby or you can get it from um, Lo, uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's, right? Or Joann's. That's why I'm going to say Joann's. Michael's have it too. 
anything person any place that got fabric okay this duct tape fabric is really thick or you can also use felt um and anybody else have any ideas go ahead and throw in a comment but i use either felt or i use duct fabric because it's very thick and it's not dense and it, it would be able to take that patch and all this thread that you got to put in it okay it's a lot of thread oh this right here this is um applique, applique too her hair is the brown fabric okay so that's not thread that's her hair is the brown fabric so pretty cool to know so if you have all this thread going in this you want some thick fabric cotton won't work you gotta get some thick fabric that's gonna take that thread okay take it take it take it um also you need some cutaway stabilizer I'm glad I remember because I was about to say, what this, is this called? But it's a stabilizer. You basically, I used to cut away. I use cut away because it's thick. And it'll hold this in place on your hoop. This is a 5 by 7 hoop that I'm using for my machine. The machine I'm using today is the NQ1600E by Brother. I, all my machines are Brother's machines, okay? So this is a 1600 um, NQ by Brother's, a Novus, okay? I'm going to show you that in a minute, but let me get this prepared first, okay? So you basically need this so this can hold up the fabric, right? So I'm going to basically go ahead and make sure this fits the fabric. So what I do, I lay, the, lay this. You can see I lay it on, on the bottom of the, um, I lay the hoop on top of the top of the stabilizer. It's cutaway stabilizer. They have cutaway and they have tearaway. Tearaway is thin because you can tear it, but you want the cutaway so it can keep, keep it sturdy to take all that thread, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut this stabilizer so I can use it for my hoop. 5x7 again. I'm using a 5x7 hoop. That's this on my little door scissors. I picked the wrong scissors to use. Stabilizer. I'm gonna put everything under the video. What I get everything from the stabilizer. Everything. I got. I got Amazon links for this stuff. So I'll put it under the video so you can go ahead and purchase them. And if you also, if you buy anything on under my, if you purchase anything from the links below my videos, I will get a certain percentage of it. No extra cost from you, but it do help my channel so I can be able to um buy the stuff that I need to do my videos. Yeah. For if it get dark, coming out if it get dark. Sorry, that's my son. He's going to ride his bike. So what I do first is basically I go ahead and put this inside the um stabilizer. You basically, you just put the, um, it's two pieces to the um hoop, right? Here it is right here. You place the stabilizer between the hoop. You lay it down. And you push it in there to make it stay in there. And then you tighten the hoop up. And this little thing you turn right here. Anybody have embroidery machines? Let me see your hand. Let me see your purple hearts again. If you have an embroidery machine, one needle, six needle, whatever you have, let me see your hearts if you have an embroidery machine. I do have a six needle, but today we're using our one needle. And right now, my, I covered my, I finally covered up my, my six needle machine because it's been sitting for a long time. I ain't been using it, so I want to get it all dusty and stuff. So I've been just, I covered it up with some fabric to keep the dust away from it, off of it to keep it clean. Okay, so now I just tight this up, make sure it's tight. Okay, I see y'all embroidery divas. Well, I know somebody named that, but okay, embroidery ladies. Oh, everybody got embroidery machines. Okay, okay, good, good. That's good. So you are you the right, you're on the right channel. Check out my other videos. I have I embroidered jack jean jackets, I embroidered sweat hoodies, sweatshirt hoodies, I embroidered a whole sweat outfit, sweatsuit, I embroidered uh bunny rabbit ears i embroider a lot of stuff y'all i do applique on shirts kids shirts i have all those in my videos so if you are embroidery please go back and look at my videos so i can show you the things i've done for my embroidery machines and i have done videos on my six needle machine too so if you have a 50, 60 minute machine I'm, I'm talking fashion i'm sorry if y'all have a six needle machine i do have a few videos on that but i've been working the death out of my one needle machines i love my one needle machines because they i like to use my use my patches for my one needle machine because it's so much easier to use it's so much easier the other machine I use, I usually do my shirts, my kids' shirts on my 60 needle machine. I think I embroidered a book bag. I embroidered hats. I embroidered a lot of stuff. So check out my video, my, my previous videos, okay? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is cut this um, out to make it fit my hoop. So let me show y'all what I do. A, a, tri a little trick that I do. A little, not a trick, but something easy to do. What I do is, what I do is, I have a couple of, um different hoops right so my five by seven hoop i just basically cut some felt and i measure it to where i want it so i can know it's gonna go right in my my, my hoop and i make, I make a t it's a template so when i'm cutting fabric i don't cut too much fabric so i got a template for my five by seven hoop a template for my four by four hoop a template for my six by nine hoop just some regular i mean i use uh 
felt because it's you know being like uh like cotton do so you just basically take this piece of um felt and you cut what you need from the material you use and you'll be good to go so just use a template so template so you don't have to use so much cut so much fabric okay so you always know what size to use a fabric okay so now what i'm gonna do is just cut this template template out of my fabric when i say i use duck fabric i got it from um joanne fabric or the hobby lobby see and I got that up. Now this is what I'm using. My duck fabric. So then I go ahead and put it. I plate. Now this is when you call what you call floating. I float this on top of my hoop. That means it's not in my hoop. So my stabilizer, I float it. And you can what you can do is you can use your spray. I'm gonna show you the spray in a minute. But you can spray this on like this. Or when you do your design on your um machine, you could put a, a border around it. They call it something else. But I say border because it's basically stitch a box around your um image so. This will not move. So today I'm not going to use a spray because I don't feel like getting up and get it. So I'm going to just lay this on top just like this. Flat like this on top of my own stabilizer. And my machine is going to do the first stitch is going to be the border. It's another it's not name for that, y'all. But it's a box that goes around here, the, the image. So this would not, the, the um, fabric would not move. It would not shift when it's um, sewing, okay? So let's go over here to the machine, y'all. Any questions before I go to the machine? Base stanky, I know somebody's gonna tell me it's a basting stitch. The basting stitch is basically what you use to keep your fabric in place if you do not want to use a spray to uh, a spray adhesive, it's like a glue adhesive that you can use to keep this straight. I usually use this um the spray, especially if it's a dense um, um image, so it's a lot of stitching because sometimes it can move your fabric can move and you'll be all it'll be all jacked up. You don't want that. So either you could do both too, but today we're just gonna do the base and stitch around the whole um patch. Okay, I have an embroidery machine, but I don't know how to send hearts. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kristen. I got you. Um, usually hearts is when you're on your phone and you're watching the video on your phone. You got a hearts. You can do that. You can heart it. So you might be on your computer. And you don't have. You can't do hearts on the computer. I don't think you probably can, but I'm not sure. Hey, crafty away. Okay, I believe she does heat and bond. Yes, I do the heat and bond. I'm going to show y'all that after we finish. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show y'all the whole patch. But I'm not going to heat it up today because I don't feel like turning the heat press on. But I can show you exactly how to do it and what to use and what kind of heat bond to use also. So stay tuned so you can know what type of heat, heat and bond to use. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and flip this camera over. Here's my machine. Okay, the di the image is already right here. Um, It's already set. Basically, you put it on your, your um drive. It, you basically go, and I use embroidery. What I use? What I use, y'all? And I, I'm not going to show y'all how I dip, uploaded this to the computer already, the machine, but because I have another video on that. But I do use a software called embroidery. What I use, y'all? I'll let y'all know in a minute what it is. Somebody probably tell y'all because I forget a lot of stuff. Embroidery, something. I'll let you know. But basically, what you do is you um you use this. You take this off your computer from off your, your embroidery software. You put it inside your machine, and here's the image of the pop-up, right? And it tells you when it pops up to tell you how much thread you're going to be using. Here's the um, how long it's going to take. And it's the number of thread. This is how many, um, what is this? Yeah, and brilliance. Thank you. I use the Embrilliance software. <laughs> y'all know I'll be all over the place. I'll be forgetting something. I got so much going on, I forget. So this is the count, the thread count. This is the minutes. And this is the um, the number of threads you're going to be using. The different colors you're going to be using. I'm sorry. So right now, the first thing we're going to do is the black, which is going to be the box of the whole thing. It's going to be just going to box it up. The next color is purple, but I'm not using purple. I don't know what this is for. Maybe it's his lips or something. I don't know. But I'm going to use a different color. You can always change these colors. This is just the color they're telling you to use, but I use different colors, okay? Here's all my thread collection. And I'm, I use a lot of thread, y'all. So, and I get a lot of my stuff from um, Embryx. My thread is from here. And from here, Smith. And I like Medelia. What's it called? Medu Let me see what her, the name of this thread is. Yeah, this one. I use A3. I like this thread. Madeira. Okay. So let me give me something to put this on so I can watch me do this. I got to put my little. Excuse my mess, y'all. My craft room is a mess. It's a mess. Don't judge me because I be working, y'all. So let me go ahead and put this on this real quick move this out the way it's 
If y'all just new to my channel, I'm gonna show you my jacket again. If y'all just joined this, please hit the like button. This is a jacket I've done. I do I do, do these jackets. It's a varsity jacket. These are patches that I aren't on. Um, and I do do these on my site, Charming Gail Boutique on Etsy. So check me out. And I also just do the patches by itself. You don't gotta get the jacket, I do the patches by itself. Customized patches. Okay. So now let me put this down so y'all can see. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying to put this down some so y'all can be able to see what I'm doing. This thing is like my phone fell, y'all. <laughs> sorry for the interruption of this video. Please bear with me. I'm gonna get together pretty soon. Let me get together, y'all. There we go. There we go. <laughs> can y'all hear me? Please say yes if you can hear me. Make sure I ain't mess up the phone while I'm trying to get things together. Can y'all hear me? Okay, like I said, here's the, 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 um, the image I'm going to be using. And here's the colors we're going to be using. But I don't have to use this color. Whatever thread you put in there, that's what you use. You don't got to go buy this. You can put every, whatever thread you want to put in there, okay? Okay, good. You can hear me. Just make sure my volume didn't go down when I was dropping my phone all over the place. So this machine right here. So people say, ask me what machine is best to use. I like the uh, PE800. It's cheaper. Um, When I bought mine, it was like $400, I believe, from Walmart. PE800, which is this one right here. That's the PE800 right here. I love it. It's really... A monster that mug is it is it, it get things done okay but i'm not using that one today because i already had this one set up over here with this with this image on there but you only just use this little flash drive so all you need to get it off your computer off of, and i use embrilliance for my embroidery software okay i'm gonna ask y'all if y'all need questions right now i'll ask y'all after i put this on the machine because i cannot see it because i'm putting i'm putting i'm not looking at the comments right now so if you have any comments or questions i'll answer it in a minute so just be patient with me, okay? So what I did, this right here is it just slides right in. I love this part. It's different from the um, PA hundred because the other one you had to snap down. This one it just slides in. Oop, there it is. Okay, this is the. Okay, I'm trying to make sure y'all can see all that. Okay, so now what I need to do is make sure I had the right thread in it. I have black in there, so that's cool. And what I use this little this little scoop thing. Hmm. I can go ahead and take it out now. I use this spool right here. I got this from um, Joann's. It basically holds the big tubs, the big spools of thread. And basically, I go ahead and loop this all the way through, thread it all the way through. And it's, on this machine, it tell you the numbers where to go. You go down, up, go around, thread it down here, go up, go down, come around, go around. And then it cut the thread for you. And it'll loop it for you. It basically thread the needle for you also too, okay? So I know I have videos. I'll show you how to do all these things, okay? I just got a video of how to set up this machine, how to thread the machine, how to get your your image from off of embroidery and brilliance to the machine. So I have all those detailed videos in on my page. So just check them out, okay? Check them out. So now that my, my thread is, go ahead, it's already ready, okay? It says black right here, and it says... One minute. So I'll tell you how long it's gonna take. One minute to do this box around here so I can keep my, my fabric together, which is a basting stitch. The only thing I gotta do now is push this down, foot down, push the green button, and let it go. Oh my thread is not in there, right? So this is make sure your the fabric is straight. So make sure those lumps and the bumps in there. So we're done with that box now. So next thing, what I do is, I, these are all my samples that I have. I use these samples so I can show y'all. And I also use these samples because I like to have them when I'm, when I'm embroidering something. Because I'm like, what color did I use? So I keep the, I make a sample. I put these samples on my website. And I also keep them to show you on my, my videos. And I also use it when I'm about to print out another one. When I'm about to design another one. So I can say, okay, well, what color did I use? So it said I use pink, but I'm not using this pink. I'm just going to use the black because his outline is black, Okay. So I use black because it depends on what fabric you have on him. So I'm using black fabric. Well, I'm not using black fabric. I'm using um this fabric right here. But I'm still put all black for him, okay? I can either use red or black. But since I got the black in there, I'm going to go ahead and be lazy and put black on there. I'm just going to use this right here just because I know his face. I'm going to know what color face, I, color I, thread I use for his face. I'm going to leave that here so I can see it. 
So I know what color to use for his face. But now I'm going to go ahead and push it black again because it's it's the next time, the next thing it's going to do is the outline of his jacket. Okay? So the first outline is going to be that. It's basically, this is the embroidered, I mean, the uh, applique. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be twice this. So this one is going to be the applique. And then when I finish this one, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do next. It's going to be one minute for that too, okay? So applique is when you add fabric, right? And they always give you a stitch that you lay your fabric on. So basically, after I do this, I'm going to lay the fabric on top of that. And then I'm going to stitch the fabric to this uh, material. I'm talking kind of fast. It basically, I'll show you how it is, how it works when I do it. It's better to show you and explain to you what I'm doing. So now, basically stitch that on there. Did you make a design or did you buy that? I I bought this um, image. Or maybe I had this digitized. Maybe I had this digitized. I can't remember. I think it's on. It might, if you look up Etsy and put um, brown boy embroidery. It might come up, okay? Can we? I'm sorry. Don't look at my my messy class, my messy craft room. So now I'm just set this up here because I don't want to drop this phone again. So now what I need to do is basically lay the fabric on top of that 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 piece that I just had on there. So I'm gonna cut some fabric out. Uh, and I like to look at the. It's best. It's best. Uh, it's best to look and see how the fabric's gonna lay on your image so if i do this now look at this right here to see where it's going to be i like to look i like to play around with it to see where i want this fabric to look like on my image okay so i look around and see let me see where i'm gonna cut this at hmm it'll be it'll probably be okay to just i'm gonna just put it right here and that's how the design gonna look i'm gonna just cut it around like this so i can be able to know about this size probably and don't worry if the fabric is too big or whatever, because you got to cut it out anyway. But you want to make sure the fabric is big enough to cover that stitch that you just put down on your on your um on your sewing machine. That just the, the, the first stitch is called the applique. It's another word for it. I have not done any videos of applique so long, so these were my words just might not be right. But see right here, you have to make sure that the fabric is covering this up because it's going to basically sew this again to to attach the fabric. Okay, the same thing we just did. They're gonna do it again to attach the fabric to the to your um patch okay so see i just covered the whole patch up make sure this is all covered up the whole lining outline is covered up so we can be able to because if you don't have it covered up it ain't gonna work so cover the whole thing up and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and go ahead and push the button the foot down and now we're gonna make that next stitch so that's gonna applique it it's gonna keep that fabric intact it's always gonna be a double tack so you can keep that in place Like I said, if y'all didn't just join this, please like this video. Push that red bell to be, um, to be notified when I do these videos. I do videos of embroidery, vinyl. Hope y'all can hear me. I sew, I uh, sublimate, I do it all. I just love the way the machine works. It's so good. No big, no big. So now, when that's done, it tells you the next one, it's going to be one minute for the for brown. It's going to be his skin. It's going to be something that's going to take about seven minutes. I don't know if this brown is right here. It might be easy to see. I'm gonna use the same color brown for both of them. Only thing you see on here, only color I need is brown and black. It's fake well, and white. So I need brown, black, and white for this for this um for this image. Because it's only I'm only doing this face. So that's why it's so easy to do because it's a small thing to do. That's why I picked this one because it's not that much to do. And we're gonna be sitting here all day doing no patch. Okay, so now what I gotta do is turn this camera around so I can cut this out now, okay? They have applique scissors, okay? So what I do is take this out my um take the whole hoop out and find my scissors. They have duck scissors. I can't find my other scissors, but this is these are scissors too. They long stem, but they also have short stem and they basically curve. So you could be able to cut around the applique. It's hard to use regular scissors on applique. So if y'all can see me, I'm basically gonna lift this fabric up and cut around that stitch. Okay. I'm just cutting around the stitch that it just made so we can have this whole base on here. Have anybody ever did any applique? If you have, please let me see your purple hearts. You know, my favorite color is purple. So let's see them purple hearts if you ever have done applique before. Okay? Or this is your first time looking at me do, I mean, this is first time seeing it. 
Purple hearts, if you have done applique before. Okay, I see you. So this is how it looks now. So the whole image is covered up. So now all I gotta do now is 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 basically stitch his face on there. And that's all we gotta do. Okay, and we're done with this. We're done with this. Okay, see how simple it is? So let's get on. Let's get on done with it. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to sit this back into my little thing because I'm gonna just change the thread. Okay. First I'm gonna show y'all. Let's go. I'm gonna just basically oh shoot. Y'all wanna see me. Slide this in here. Sorry for the inconvenience that it's causing. I'm all over the place, y'all. Do this in here like this. Push that down, and I'm gonna use go ahead and use brown, and I'm gonna use, try to get brown that matches his face. So I'm going to be using probably what y'all think? No, that's that's not the one. This one is the ooh, that's not it either. But it's gonna be one of them. Oh, maybe it's this one. Is this one? It's gonna have to be this one. I can't find my other browns. Uh, I got all kind of browns, y'all. I'm gonna just use this one. I'm gonna use this one because it's big. It's on this big spool. No, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> like, girl, pick a color. Pick a color, girl. I'm gonna use this one because I'm gonna show y'all how to thread the machine real quick. It's kind of like, it don't matter. It don't matter. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna show y'all how to thread the machine. Okay, so I'm gonna set this right here. Turn this around so I can show y'all how to thread the machine real quick. Uh, uh, like this video, please. If it's benefiting to you, helping you. I appreciate the likes. Okay. So what I do now, I just basically take this old thread out. I, I pull it. This, people say sometimes you need to cut it and pull it through. This is the way I do it. I just pull it out. Take this from behind here because I don't need it. So like I said, the only thread we're going to be using now is the brown and black and white, and we'll be done. What the heck? It's all messed up. Okay. Let me just get my thread together. It's kind of messy here okay so what i do is first i start from right here if i'm using a small thread i'm gonna start right here then you go back to this for one two go over i can't do this i cannot hold this phone in my hand to show you so hopefully i know how to do it but like i said i have a better detailed video on how to do this so you just basically loop it loop it just basically it's not hard at all if you get the hang of it you just basically pull it to where it goes and it goes in there for you you pull it over at the bottom down here Freaking Fuji's. This okay. Then I go ahead and put it up here and cut it. Da da. I know that wasn't a good, 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 good view of it. But like I said, I have a better video on how to do this in my on my channel. So please forgive me for not showing you the correct. I mean, you know, a good view of it because I can't really show you. I can't hold it while I'm showing you. So basically, what I just did. I, should, I think I could have did it. I went up, down, up, round. And I went and I cut it. Okay. Brown. And let's see how it's going to do his face. Okay. You're going to be like, what is, how are you going to do that? How are you going to cover this up? Watch and see. Watch and see. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to show y'all this. And while I'm showing this to you, go ahead and answer any questions y'all want to ask you while I'm moving this song. I'm show you what this is doing. Okay. First, let me show y'all this. See, it's taking seven minutes to do this. Brown right here, seven minutes. We did eight minutes out of 26. We have four colors spread already. We got four out of seven. This is how much the stitch count is right here. I was stitching. We got next is gonna be black for one minute, which is going to be his eyes probably. White for his eyes, his inside his eyes, and then black for his hair. 16 minutes for his hair, and then we'll be done. Okay? Any questions about doing this right now? I'm on the phone. Any questions? And uh, 
right here. I use this too. I use this felt. I use felt. Felt is good and thick. See, you get the, the thicker the fabric is, the better it is, okay? The thicker the fabric is, the better. So you can be able to get all that three. Oh, see, it's done now. I gotta switch it 
three it. Change the three it. So basically, it just makes any moving machine. So now I got to put in black. But let me show y'all this real quick. This is another embroidery. Oh, this is another applique with still this fabric. Okay, it's still this fabric. And her hair. The whole afro is a fabric. Okay, I got to show y'all that too. Here's another one. So let me go ahead and get this thread changed and I'll show you the rest of the patches in a minute. Hold on. Let me see. I can let me see. I need to use a black thread. The black thread is already behind my machine. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and use this machine. This black. See that it says black right here. The next one's gonna be white. And then the next one is black, and we be done. So the next one's black, so it's one minute for the for I guess it's gonna do his his outline of his face. I don't know. We're about to see. I will tell you right here. This piece right here, which is his lips. Why is his lips black? Oh, no, they brown. I'm sorry. That's brown. I ain't, why you ain't tell me that's brown? <laughs> so it brown his lips. So I'm going to change. Oh, man. I had brown in there already. So I should just left it in there. Now I got to re-thread it all over again. Good job, Charmaine. Good job. Okay. So I'm going to pay attention, y'all. So I could have kept that brown in there. I'm going to have to re-thread it. But now I got to re-thread it. I'm trying to do it with one hand so I can see me how, how I do it with one hand. So up. Call it the numbers. Go under here. Go under here. Cut it. I did it. I did it, did it, did it. That was a waste of time because I should have left it in there. Gonna push that button down. I'm gonna go do the lips. I thought that was black, but that's brown. The darker brown for the lips, but I'm not gonna change the color. The lips are fine. I'm gonna it out. Any other questions why I'm waiting for the lips to get done? White part is gonna be his eyes, which is right here. We're gonna do his eyes. And the next one's gonna be his hair, which is the black up there. And we're done with this. Pack. Oh, then the black is also gonna be his outline, his eyebrows, his eyes, all that outline too, right? So let's go ahead and change this thread to white real quick. I'm gonna put this up here because I don't feel like holding the phone while I do it. So I'm just gonna put it back in here while I do it. I changed the thread. Y'all already saw it. Ah, what happened? Sorry. So look at my <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, y'all. My thing, my little uh, phone holder is broke, so I got to be careful with it. Okay, sorry about that again. I dropped my phone two times during this video. Things happen here live. Live with Charmaine. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the white thread. Okay. I can't edit the video, so yes, you will see me drop my phone, and I can't fix it because this is a live video. So mistakes happen here when you come live with me. Sorry, I'm not perfect. Hope you understand. Okay. So now, hey. Okay. So I'm gonna show y'all my jacket again because I, I got 123. 23 people watching. Thank you for joining me. This is all embroidery patches that I've made for my jacket. Okay. Yeah, and this is also this is a vinyl shirt I made. It's a vinyl. I do my cricket. I do do cricket videos also. So check out my cricket video. I did this basically I did this shirt on on my video. This is all black vinyl and this is glitter. Silver vinyl. Silver vinyl right here. Check out my video. I did this shirt on, on my, my page. I have cricket. I have a silver. I have the um. I have the um, cricket store air two and a cricket maker. Let's see what the patches I have. I'll show you real quick. Okay, his eyes are done. So now we're gonna do the change it to black, and that's gonna be our last thing we gotta do. Let's see. See right here. So now we got to just do the outline, the black outline, which you can see right here. All that's got to be done. The outline right there, the black outline, and we that's, 17, that's 16 minutes, and we're done with this video, y'all. Okay, let's 
It was an easy peasy patch. People think it's hard to do. It's not. So don't get scared, y'all. Get y'all embroidery machine out. Some people be like, my embroidery machine is still in the box. Get that thing out and work with it. Get make that money. Or if you want to just do stuff for free for your uh, with your family, your family, it's so much fun. It's a good crafting hobby. Or if you want to make it out of business, do what you got to do to make that money. Okay. I'll show y'all in a minute how this outline coming after I start stitching a little bit, so you can see how it's good looking. In the middle, okay. Right now, it's kind of weird. But here's another patch. This is all black fabric. This is also the African fabric in her point in her little bow. Okay, this is also called an applique. Here's our vice president. There's another one. And who is this, y'all? Who is this? Who is this? I'm doing my patch. I'm going to show y'all what I be doing, y'all. I just want to show y'all what I be doing. And that's it. Let me go ahead and show y'all what it's looking like over here. Question and answer. I'm going to go wide why you don't apply heat and bond to the fabric before you start working? Because you can't. Because it's fat. you gotta put this out first and then hot. You gotta put this out, this, the pack out first and then put it on the back of the um, pack. All this stuff right here, you gotta be wasting your heater bond. You gotta be wasting it. You really need it for the patch. So you cut the patch out and then that's what you put the heat bond on. Just the patch. Because all this extra fabric is going to be garbage. You cut it out. So you don't wanna put all that on there and waste it. Make sure you just outline it, getting that um, patch together, just outlining the whole patch. Any other questions? What time is it, y'all? It's going to take 16 minutes, and when this is over with, we'll be done, but I can't edit this video because it's live so we got to wait till it's over with y'all just want to see it's going to be take about six minutes for this to be done and i can um show y'all how i cut it out and how i put the um heat bond on it hope y'all can last for 16 more minutes i got 135 people watching thanks for joining me if you're a newbie go ahead and say your name so i can shout you out if you're not a newbie thanks for coming back and i appreciate you watching joining us on our live oh, he said who said i got a headache it's too loud i'm sorry the machine too loud, I too bad. I'm sorry, I think about the, the, the noise of the machine. I just thought y'all wanted to see the machine go. If it's too loud, I, I bring the, I come back to try to, let me see if I can, there I go. Okay, I do it like that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm used to the noise. Just turn your volume down for a little bit. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's like somebody said they get a headache. So I came, I came back something from the, uh, he said, Charmaine, what machine do you use for the large patches on your jacket? This same machine, same machine. So this machine, this, this machine, these patches on my on my jacket. Let me show y'all what sizes I really got to show y'all. This is a five by seven. This is a five by seven. The same machine. The one in the back, I believe. It's bigger than a 5x7, so I use my 6x9 hoop. I got a 6x9 hoop to go with this machine. Hey, Charmaine, good to see you live again. Hey, Sandra. Thanks for joining us. It's been a minute, y'all. I'm going to get back on track. I'm going to start doing this video, one video a week. Life just happens. Life just happens. <laughs> so I'm trying to make the schedule to get everything together, get everything done. I got a lot of orders and stuff and things going on. So I will be um get my videos in once a week. I'm not gonna tell you today because I've been popping up on here, but I will let you know in ahead of time when I'm gonna be popping up. Thank you, fabulous. Ooh. 
life no other explanation needed <laughs> yes life period 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 <laughs> And I also have a full-time, I do my daycare, I got a daycare, so I'm a daycare owner. I have a son, you know what I'm saying? Bonus kids, bonus children, so I'll be busy, busy, busy. I love the sound, the sound of what? Of the machine? <laughs> yeah, don't give me no headache, I'm used to it. Congratulations, change is good. Yes, it could be good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congrats. Thank you for all the congratulations. I appreciate you all. Okay, we still waiting for this to get done in 16 minutes. Go ahead and ask me questions about anything y'all want. You don't have to be embroidery. It could be anything while we wait for this to get done. Because when this is done, I'm going to be done. <laughs> I'm trying to clean up my table a little bit so the sky from me is moving around all crazy. So I'm just trying to clean up a little bit. It's a mess. I'll be working. And then my machine, oh my God, y'all, my, my um laptop went out. So I had to go buy me a whole new laptop. I, you know, I love my MacBook Air. So it's, it lasted for five years. So I had to give me another one. And then it took forever to down, to transfer, well, it took two days to transfer my stuff over. And I went to the Jazz Fest for this weekend, which was the bomb. I seen Janet Jackson. We had a good time. Me and my fiance and you know a lot of people and my cousin my dad we all had a good time in jazz festival and, and uh mary j i mean not mary j block but janet jackson she did a good job she was great and of course charlie wilson he always show out so we kicked it in cincinnati this weekend so then my machine my computer went out so i was my little orders were delayed because my, my computer went out so a little lot going on y'all a lot going on but i needed a little vacation so that's what we did jazz festival for the weekend it was hot in Cincinnati. Very, very hot. Ooh, y'all got some hot heat down there. Who from Cincinnati? Let me see the Purple Hearts if you're from Cincinnati. Or if you if you came, if you was at the Jazz Festival. Let me see the Purple Hearts. You started your channel, um, Fabulosis? Okay, go ahead and link your channel, please, so people can go check you out. Yes, I'm getting married. She, I was getting married. <laughs> um, so anybody live in Cincinnati? Anybody? Um, oh, you're in Ohio. Were well, you in Ohio? I'm in Toledo. I'm from Toledo. We went to Cincinnati. Thank you, Amazing Grace. That's the name of my daycare. My name, my name of my daycare is Amazing Grace Child Care. Just FYI. Sorry, my But see how thick that is? It's you stitch when you have a patch. And so you better cut it. Okay? And I can't think of that stitch. I think it's about a certain stitch. I can't stitch around the whole thing. So if you don't have a stitch there, so it's not going to be a good patch. Okay? Make sure you have a stem stitch around your, your image. Coming along the wheel. Going around. Okay, I will, Jim. It's coming around good. Let me go ahead and let y'all see this while it's getting done. Hope it's not too loud. Let me go ahead and scoot back some here. There you go. Yeah, Jackson would be a little easy to touch during therapy. Okay. You should do her thing, y'all. She did her thing. This is a jazz festival. I used the, um, she said, what embroidery software do you use? I used in Brilliance. Is that it? Oh, no. She's going to, now it's moving to the eyes now, I guess. I can do the eyes or whatever. It's finished. Oh, it's got to do the round of the face. So now you see how you see the little arrow is showing you what it's doing. Now it's doing the, the outline of the face. It shows you everything it's doing. You got 15 minutes. That's what you're doing. Okay. So now I'm going to outline his face. So he's going to his face. He's going to attach to the jacket. So that's outlining the round of the face. Yes, I use a brilliant essential for embroidery software. So basically, whenever you have a design, you gotta put it through your um, brilliance. You can size it up, and you can change it, add name to it, whatever. And then you put it up, you save it on the disk drive, and you put the disk drive, whatever it's called, the flip drive, whatever you wanna call it. This thing right here. You save it on that thing, and you put it on your machine, and it pops up on here like that. She said, 
says, you know you got to get in where you fit in since the big engagement. Yes, I'm trying to get in where I fit in. Let me get married on an island and put the kind of on the beach at a resort. I'm sorry. So that's coming up next 2022. two videos today y'all i'm on a roll so the first video i did if y'all ever into sublimation check out the next video i did it was, it was kindy uh sublimation blankets or whatever so i did that one so i'm gonna do a giveaway soon so check this out so stay tuned to my channel because i'm gonna be doing a giveaway hope y'all can hear me because i have my finger on the mic so hope y'all can hear me well i just found out i just figured i have my finger on the microphone with the phone so, yeah send me some stuff for free and i showed y'all what they sent me so that was the video before this one i'm doing this video and i'll be done for tonight i got two videos done in one day yay me we got one more eye to do I'm too happy for you, Charmaine. When you first started, it was just the kids, you and us. Now we got a brother-in-law. <laughs> you were so funny, Fabulous. What was that saying? <laughs> oh, you so cute. Thank you, Fabulous. <laughs> Y'all already know Shane. Me and Shane. I'm the little nephew Shane. I got a brother-in-law. Yeah. Uh, can you direct? Can you direct connect from your laptop to your computer? Shouldn't have a cord. You can, yes, but no, you gotta have a flash drive for this machine. You have a flash drive. She didn't agree. <laughs> Y'all funny. Is that an engagement ring? Yes, it is. Five by seven, I'm doing right now. Five by seven, the big, the one in the back. This is not. It's a bigger one. So it's about the six 
five by nine. I use the same machine, but I have a bigger hoop. The a the PE eight hundred only come with a five by seven. So that's why I got this machine, which is a, a Invinovis NQ six hundred, and that comes with a six by nine hoop, which is a bigger hoop than with the PE eight hundred. Five by six machine. Then I got a six by six. six then I have a six needle machine over there. But let's cover it up because I don't want the disc to get in it. So it's the brothers also. Hey, Nubi Valerie, great, and thanks for watching. What type of machine should I get? The, the one I do to get for embroidery, if you just want to do a one needle, you get the P800. It's the cheapest one, but it's a five by seven. But if you want a bigger hoop, a six by nine hoop, you get the Innovis 1600 NQ from Brothers. If you check out, after this video, I have all the links to everything under the video, so I will show you yeah, all the links to be under there and tell me what the name of the uh, embroidery machines are and everything. I can do that right now. I can get everything in the video on my computer. So we got a couple more minutes. Let me show y'all real quick like, how I was doing this one. I designed images to deliver one day. Yes, Mark. In here, in here. Going back to the end here. Let's go back to the eye in a minute. That's how I was looking so far. Let's go back to the eye in a minute. Let's go back to the eye in a minute. Let's go back to the eye in a minute. Let's go back to the eye in a minute. Now I'll stop hoping. Now it's done with the hair, so it's gonna go down to that 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 white eye. Oh, what? It's gonna do the nose person. I guess it's gonna do the, what, the eye. Oh, no, I'll the nose. Somebody said it's too loud. I think. Let's go back some. Let's go in. I guess I do the eyelash. Good job. We're done. So now I'm going to do the eye and then we're going to do the flower. I'm going to do the eyebrow too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Hit that red bell to be notified when I do videos. Check out my website, my Etsy page, which is Charming Gal Boutique. And I will be putting all my links to everything under this video. When this video is over with, I will be putting all my links under the video. And we are done. Look at that. Telling you are finished. You are finished. See, embroidery is finished. Finished embroidering. This is the machine right here. It's this Anovis 1600 NQ 1600 E Brothers. Okay. If you want to know what that is, that's the name of the machine right there. Write it down. You can look at Google it and you can look at the prices and where you can purchase it from. That's the name right there. Like I said, but all the links are gonna be below this video after I finish this video. I'll link everything below. Okay, so now what we gotta do is this is the uh, hook, the the uh, the hoop. I really enjoy seeing this. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. I'm glad you liked the video. So I just basically take this little piece that they give us to unscrew this. We just did an We just basically did a. It, it's called an applique embroidery iron-on patch, okay? Applique, which means we use fabric for this thing. This is not all thread. This is fabric. Hey, isn't he nice? So now, it's somewhere, I've lost my other scissors, but I'm gonna use these scissors now. No, I'm gonna get some, I got some more scissors. This, this is such an easy thing to cut out. I'm gonna use my other scissors because this, this is scissors for like really hard places to, to cut. This is it's simple. It's just like going around the whole body, you're good, you're done. So I can get big scissors for this. So just make sure you cut close, but not too close so you won't cut your stitch, okay? Cut around the fabric. And then sometimes I have to use black marker paint, a black marker paint. Sometimes if you need that, because right now I think I do need it because the thread went on, over the... Uh, I'm going to need my other small scissors too because it's not close enough. But I got these scissors not lost. I keep on losing these scissors. I got some duck scissors. 
and I keep on losing them. <laughs> I haven't bought two pair already, but this is this is a long. And what I do is it's easier to turn it to, on the back because see right here you can see how close you are to the to the uh, to the stitch. In the front you really can't see because black is on black. But if you turn it this way, I can get this close. I can cut this close. So I'm gonna cut all this white part off as close as I can to make this a nice and nice, easy looking, a good looking patch. Okay. So right here, I'm gonna cut all this off right quick. Okay. And then I gotta use my lighter to um to seal it in so it won't um ravel. Because the best thing to do is turn it on the back, get all that other white extra sticks off, and you'll be good to go. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more videos. I'm already said I'm close to 200K, y'all. Help me get to 200K. What well, we'll be doing a giveaway. This is just getting done. We'll be doing a giveaway soon on sublimation blanks so or whoever in sublimation. If you're in sublimation, if you sublimate, go ahead and leave me them purple hearts again. Let me see what you got. All my sublimators, my, all my sublimators, <laughs> leave me some purple hearts. Let me see what you what, um that you sublimate. Go ahead and post them in the comments. It's purple hearts if you're a sublimator. If you're a sublimator. <laughs> I sublimate. I do cups. I do all kinds of stuff. And uh, air fryers. Have you ever saw me sublimating the air fryer? Well, I got a video on that. Check me out. I also have a mug press. I also have a, easy, uh, a Cricut mug press. have a tumbler press. have it all. Okay, I see y'all sublimators. Look at that, y'all. Now, let me see. So, now what I need to do is... A lot of this thread is um coming out my side of my stuff. I can take a marker, a paint marker, and just paint around it. Let me show y'all in a minute. So see this part, like when you see some, like this part right here, it's supposed to be straight. But it looks, yeah, the thread went over. You just basically get some a marker and just get a black paint marker and just um go ahead and outline if you want to. So you can get so they can be straight black, straight black. That's that did good. So like this right here, I can't cut this off because the fabric went under the stitch. So to, to clean this up, just get a black paint marker. They have those at the stores and just make the color over it. I'll show y'all, I can do one right quick. This Is this a paint marker? Here's my paint marker, black permanent marker. And I just basically color around it so we can get that black to, to pop. Sometimes the fabric shows and you don't want that to show. You want it to be clean, you want it to be clean. And the paint markers are wonderful. They last long and they, you know, it's paint. And it should be okay in the wash. Let me paint this real quick and I'll be right with ya. So I can just give you that clean look. This is just a sample that I'm gonna be putting on my website. So I'm not selling this one. This is something I just did, so I just go ahead and put it on my website. I'm gonna go ahead and use this, and I also put it in my little goodie bag, my bag full of all these are patches I made, so I can show everybody when I want to show y'all, so y'all can be like, oh, I want to make one, or oh, I want to go to her website and buy one. So if you want to buy one, go ahead and go to the website, Charming Girl Boutique, and I also have some children ones on my website, on my children website, which is called the Raised Sunshine Boutique, and you can buy them, or if you want to make them yourself, look at my videos, and I'll show you how to make them. I'm just cutting a little excess thread out and to get you a lighter. Where's my lighter at? To seal everything. Where's my lighter at? I always don't have stuff in the right place, y'all. But okay, so you know the next thing step you gotta do is get a lighter and just basically get, go around the edges and just seal that up so you want like all this thread won't it won't shred. I mean it won't, you know what I mean? I'm tired, y'all. We're working all day. So get a lighter so you can seal all them edges. So that's let me show y'all next what I gotta do now. Be right back. I gotta get the um heat mine. Okay, the heat mine you use is you use the uh, extra hold. Okay, they got some light hold or whatever it's called, but you use the extra hold. It's called ultra hold heat and bind. Ultra hold, ultra hold heat and bind. Okay, I got this from Joanne Fabric. What you do is then you just take this out and you cut it the same size of your image. And no, I didn't turn my heat press on today because I didn't feel like it. But I'm going to go through the whole step like I am pressing on there, but I'm not. I just don't feel like putting the heat press on. I'll do it later another day. But I just don't feel like waiting for it to get done. It would have been an easy thing to do, but I just didn't, y'all. I just, sorry. I forgot to turn the heat press on. So it got, it got to get time. It got to have time to warm up and... I didn't do it. So I'm sorry. I apologize. 
So this is all you got to do. You basically just put this on here like this. Then you basically put it on the heat press upside down like this, face down on the heat press. Put it on there for like a couple seconds, 10 seconds. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe seven seconds. That's it, because you don't want to do it too much. So you just, like I said, this is the sticky stuff. You put the, the rough part on this part of the patch, lay it face down on your heat press, put it down, let it sit, do it for like 10, six to seven seconds, six to seven, six to 10 seconds. So and then basically when you're done, I cut around the white part. I cut around here to make the closest I can to the patch. And then I put into the plastic bag and I ship it. That's all you got to do. And you have your and then when you get when the customer get this, they take this film off. The white paper off. Sorry, not the film, but the paper will come off. And this film right here will be stuck on the back of this patch. So it'll be this the stuff you see right here will be on the back of this patch. So you just pull this white paper off and you will just have a patch. And you basically have them ironing on. You can use any heat press. Like I said, put it for 350 and count to seven and it should be done. You don't have to have it on that long, long. And then you can check it to make sure it's sticking in the paper. That stuff is adhesive is on there. And then when you, the person get it, you just pull the paper off and they can just iron it on their shirt. But don't forget to sit it with the, the heat, with the lighter. I just didn't do it that time. So isn't he nice? So now I can set him on my, I can put him on my website. So if he's for sale now, I didn't have one on him on my, on my website. I had him, let me show you that one. I did have him. So here he is. I had him on there. Now I have him. They're both on here now. So, and this right here, I made this. This is with felt. And you really can't tell the difference. This is with felt. I made this with felt because I wrote on the background. On the background. This is felt and this is duck fabric. You can't tell the difference, can you? See? You can't tell the difference. Oh, can't tell the difference. So, isn't they wonder? Isn't they wonderful? I wonder if I have a good little girl. I have a girl, too, that I did with the, um, with the hoods. It's basically like the hoods. Oh man, I'm sorry. It's time to go to sleep. Time to go night night. So I got her and the two little boys, a little hooded jacket. Ain't they cute? I can put like little. I can put like stillers. I can put your the um different fabric in here. You know your teams, and you can patch this on your back. Or you, I could do it like the one I did this right here. Black Lives Matter fabric. If you can see that. And that's big. That's six by nine. It's a bigger one. Hey. Okay, so it's time for me to go, y'all. Been on here for 72 minutes. Good Lord, that's a lot of time. I've been on here for a long. Y'all, thanks for rocking with me, y'all. Thanks for coming to me and going with my live and stick, sticking with me. Any questions before I leave out of here? Look at look at what we did today. Look what we did. Just look at them. Thank you, Ruby. Okay, y'all, I'm tired. Time to get myself together. I got to get up in the morning and go to my daycare center. So it's good. I love y'all for rocking with me. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button if you like this video. If I taught you something that you liked. Um, until next time, bye-bye and be blessed. Okay, I see somebody that said, they, I'm sorry. Somebody said they need a one-on-one -on -one class. If you need a one-on-one -on -one class, I do do one-on-one -on -one classes with embroidery, sublimation, uh, vinyl, cricket, Silhouette, sewing. I do one-on-one -on -one classes up for. I'm sorry, I forgot the extra. I'll tell y'all that. Go on Facebook, look at me up at Charmaine Galloway, and then just say you're interested in the classes. Inbox me on Facebook. Please don't go to my Facebook page and, and comment under my 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 comments and stuff. I will find you if you just go ahead and inbox me, okay? Inbox me. Don't comment under my comments on my Facebook page. It's my personal page. So just go on there, Charmaine Galloway, and go ahead and go into my message inbox me and say you're interested in the class and I will send you the flyer and to I'll tell you the price and the whatever. Okay. Until next time. Bye for real this time.